What the hell news? 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 We fix the table. Rafa fix the table. To celebrate that today, what the hell news is from Rafa's house. <laughs> we have live audience here. <laughs> oh my god. Now I have a tie, I have a microphone, I have a mic, and also I have audience. Come on, guys. This is getting very serious and very professional. In this town, when a guy is very in love with a woman, they say that the woman gave that guy agua de calzón. That will be panty water. So like uh, they put the panty in the water, then they mix it, they, they put a little a little bit of sugar, and then the woman made the guy drink it. And after that, the guy is gonna be in love forever with that woman. I'm being serious. As suppose which was sent to jail due to extortion. A woman hired a witch because she wanted her ex-husband back. She contacted the witch, the witch gave her all the spells and all the things. Guess what? It wasn't working. The ex-husband didn't want to come back to her. The woman just said, you know what, this is not working, so I won't come back to you, never, because that's not working. So the witch, like any other witch, got very upset. You may be thinking that if she's a witch, maybe she, when she's mad, she will turn that woman into a cat, you know, into a pig, into a donkey, because it's a witch, you know? But no, the witch didn't do that. The witch is calling that woman. Okay, so you are not going to pay me? You are not going to give me more money? I'm going to kill your ex-husband and his family and your family she was just calling her give me money come on guys what is the ethic of that witch but what about that woman you know trying to get that guy back using brujeria you know using trabajo sucio we say trabajo sucio like dirty dirty job and believe it or not guys that happens a lot here in colombia i'm talking about colombia guys not only my hometown because you already know that those things happen here in my hometown you know in the news that i read the uh, the news said the witch name but i don't want to mention the name because i don't want her to turn maya into i don't know a cat or whatever but actually what you know what she's not a real witch i mean guys Extortion? Why did they use another thing, you know? Okay, let me ask them what they think. ¿Te que cree que si es una bruja o no es una bruja? No es bruja. ¿Cierto? They are saying that that woman wasn't a witch. That sounds like a scammer. If that woman were a real witch, they are saying, believe me, that guy will get back to that woman, you know? If you want to catch a witch, I'm going to give you the way. But please don't try it at home because you may catch one, two or three witches. And I don't know what the hell you will do with three witches at your house. They say that the real witches have to fly. If they don't fly, they are not real witches. They are just a scammer like the one of these news. So basically when you see her flying, you say, come tomorrow for salt. Yes, salt guys, the one that you use for cooking, salt, you know. Whoever guy, whoever appears in the next day asking for salt, you got it. That's the real witch. That's the way in which you know that it's a witch. I don't know if that's true, guys. But if I see something flying, I, I won't say that. Please don't try this at home. I'm being serious, guys. I care, <laughs> I care about your safety, so don't try it. The only way to prove that she's a witch is that she has to get out of jail by herself. How the hell she's going to do it? I don't know. But that's the only way in which she can prove that she's a real witch. What do you think? Let's continue with the news. With what the hell news? To me, guys, this this new is very Colombian. Although I don't know if this happened exactly here in Colombia because I don't know the exact location of this new. Picture this, guys. You are the passenger in a bus, and then you suddenly, out of the blue, you see that the bus driver pull over, and you say, "Oh my God, something happened! A crash! I don't know. Like he killed a dog or something like that." And then the driver he look in the passenger for his girlfriend, and then he got on the knee and say, "Would you marry me? Can you imagine, guys, calling your job and saying, you know, what? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be very late." Why? Because the bus driver just proposed to her girlfriend and they kiss and hug for like 20 minutes and now we are here waiting for him to get back to driving the bus. Colombians are, are well known around the world maybe because they are very impunctual. But come on guys, this is a pretty, this is an amazing excuse. I'm gonna get late to work because a dog beat me. Those aren't the excuses that we want to hear. We want to hear that you got late. You got late because the bus driver pulled over the car to propose to his girlfriend. These are the news that we want to hear, guys. And they are gonna be a happily, happily married couple without using a witch. The spell didn't work. El agua de calzón didn't work. Guys, let me know if you think that el agua de calzón, you remember, panty water for the guy to drink and to fall in love with the woman works. They are telling me that that worked. <laughs> no, eso no. 
Ah, nai, no puede ser. Oh my goodness. So she, okay, guys, that's crazy. She said that it's not agua de calzón. It's agua de calzón, but when the woman have the period, because in the period they can put it here, and then you can say, oh look at this strawberry juice. Oh, drink it, my love, I love you. And then you're gonna fall in love with that woman. Be careful with that, guys. Don't try this at home. Solo las mujeres usan eso. Oh, yo puedo hacer agua de calzoncillo. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you cannot trade this at home because it's just a panty water. You cannot put your underwear and water and give it to a frowajira or maya and a frowajira who's gonna fall in love with you. No, guys, that only works for women. So don't try it. <laughs> no, no, that's a locura. La señora Paula, the oldest woman of this town, today is turning 105 years old. My God, she's a real witch. We know person no está bien, cierto? No. <laughs> No, oh, oh, no. For the next news, we got a reporter. Silvestre, is that you, Silvestre? Silvestre? Okay, Silvestre? Silvestre is in the location of this name. Silvestre, you can go ahead. Napola, mira la cámara sin momento. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo se llama tú? Me llamo Jesús Alberto. Mire para que mire. Mire, ¿cómo se llama el tren? De la señora Elida. Mire para que se mire a la de la cámara que la están saludando, que la están saludando en la cámara, diga hola. Juan Gracias. Salude. Eh, happy birthday to la señora Pola. You. Diga hola. Okay, guys, be patient Salud. with Silvestre. Is the first time that he's doing, he's reporting for a very serious news, like what the hell news. But he sucks. Oh my god, he looks pretty nervous. Happy birthday to la señora Pola. Feliz cumpleaños, señora Pola. What the hell news with Rafa? ¿Qué está haciendo Rafa? <laughs> he is the carpenter of this town. The only, well, the only, nah, there are, there are two carpenters here in this town, and he is one of the best. Oh, look at these guys. Look at all the dogs. Actually, he has 20 dogs. Come take a look to the table. Okay, look, look at this. Look at all the new nails. Rafa put a lot of new nails here. And of course, the support here to the table. Ah, uh, we see. Aquí, look at these guys. So Maya have table for another two years. <laughs> two years, I don't think so. Remember guys, what the hell news on Tuesday? Vlog on Tuesdays and live streams on Sunday. This Sunday I'm gonna make sushi. So don't forget to join. Adios. <laughs>